let's continue the program here we write the main function main function is similar to the linear queue that we have discussed in our previous tutorial so I'm gonna copy the main function from my previous tutorial and paste here here we have many options and we need to choose one of them for that we use here a switch statement in case 1 we call nq function in case 2 we call dq function and in case 3 we call the display function here we use a do while loop and we write the condition as while choice not equal to 4 this loop will execute for any value except 4 if you press 4 this condition will false and the control come out of this loop next we write the nq dq and display function one by one first i'm going to define the nq function nq function doesn't return any value so i'm going to write here void nq and it takes an integer parameter int item in q is not possible if q is full so we check the availability of free space before in q an element i'm going to write here if rea plus one modulo size equal to front if next rea index is equal to front we write q overflow in q not possible printf q overflow in q not possible otherwise we check q is empty or not else if rea equal to equal to minus 1 and front equal to equal to minus 1 if font and rea both are minus 1 that means q is empty and we set font and rea equal to 0 rea equal to 0 and then front equal to 0 otherwise we increment rea in circular manner else rea equal to rea plus 1 modulo size next we insert element at rea index q rea equal to item then we printed out the item that we inserted printf percent %d is inserted and here we refer item nq function is completed next we define the dq function dq function returns an integer value so I am going to write here int dq here I'm going to declare an integer type variable to hold the deleted item int value if q is empty then deletion is not possible so I'm going to check the condition as if rea equal to equal to minus 1 and front equal to equal to minus 1 then we print q underflow dq not possible print f q underflow dq not possible and then we return minus 1 else we delete the front element value equal to q front next I'm gonna check here a special condition if rea equal to equal to font If rea equal to font, that means q had only one element that we have just deleted. So now q is empty and we set font and rea equal to minus 1. Rea equal to minus 1 and then front equal to minus 1. Else we increment font in circular manner. Front equal to front plus 1 modulo size. And then we return the value dq function is completed next we will write the display function void display 
inside this function I'm going to declare an integer type variable int i then if ray equal to equal to minus 1 and front equal to equal to minus 1 here we write this condition to check for mtq if front and ray equal to minus 1 we just print q is empty print f q is empty else we print all the elements of the q else we check front less equal to rea if front less equal to rea if front less equal to rea then we use here a for loop to print the q elements for i equal to front i less equal to rea and then i plus plus then print f Q of percent D equal to percent D new line and here we refer I and Q of I if font less than or equal to rare then execute these two statement and print the Q element but if font greater than rare then what happen if font is greater than rare then we need two loops to print the Q elements. Now see this example. In this case, font is at index 4 and rea is at index 1. Front greater than rea. In this case, we need two loops. First loop runs from font to size minus 1. Here we start from 0. So last index will be size minus 1. This loop print the elements from index 4 to 6 and we need a second loop that runs from 0 to current rare index. This loop print the elements at index 0 and at index 1. Let's back to the program. Else for i equal to front i less equal to size minus 1 then i plus plus printf statement will be same so I'm gonna copy it and paste here now we write the second loop for i equal to 0 i less equal to rea and then i plus plus I'm gonna paste here printf statement ok display function is completed so what do we do here first we define some statement as global then we write the nq function then we write dq function then display function and finally we write the main function ok let us run the program compile and run you can see here four options are available and you need to choose one of them I'm going to delete an element press 2 and it shows you Q underflow DQ not possible because first time Q is empty there is no element that's why it print Q underflow next I'm going to insert an element press 1 enter the element I'm going to enter 7 and it shows you 7 is inserted I'm going to insert another element I'm going to enter 9 9 is inserted to display the element press 3 and it shows you the element 7 is inserted at index 0 and 9 is inserted at index 1 to exit from this program press 4 this is it hope you understand if you like this video please share it and click on the like button on youtube